I think this is mainly why I stopped doing YouTube because people just like I live in a very popular area um, my house is basically in the corner so people literally drive here they stop in the stop sign and they just look around and my window is literally right there so everybody can like see what I'm doing um, so there's a man outside my window he's literally been looking at the house over there for the longest time hey guys what is up have you guys missed me i cannot believe that i am doing this again um <laughs> when i got my camera from where it was literally thrown at um it was covered in dust there were dust bunnies around it it just it was such a sad like setting and i was like damn i am the worst youtuber youtuber alive so I think the last time I posted a video was around six or seven months ago I'm not 100% certain but as you guys can see from the title this is gonna be an update on my weight loss journey if you guys do not know and you are new to my channel I am a WLP which is basically a weight loss patient um, in December of 2016 I underwent gastric sleeve surgery it's basically when they remove 70% of your stomach, um, meaning that it is reduced to a size where you can't eat as much as you used to eat before. Meaning that you lose weight like this, super fast. So I am just updating you guys. This is my one year, eight month post-op video. <laughs> I suck. You know why I'm laughing? Because literally the last video that I did, it was like set my seven month post-op, I believe. I don't know, I haven't even checked. That's how bad and how unplanned this video is. But I did answer some of, you know, some questions on YouTube regarding my weight loss, what I've been doing, you know, just updates. If you guys do want to follow my Instagram, it is this one right here. It is public, so anybody can follow. It's open to anybody. Um, I did have it on private for a while, but I just decided, what the hell, why the hell not? And I put it on public, so anybody can go on and see my weight loss journey i don't do anything specific there i don't talk about weight loss at all i do have some before and after pictures but that's basically just how in depth i've gotten so i don't put anything on there related to that that's why i have youtube um and it's basically where i've gotten a bunch of followers on instagram as well so if you guys want to follow hit me up and follow me so guys it has been one year and eight months since i had weight loss surgery and everything has been going great apart from the fact that i had to get my gallbladder removed yeah one of the side effects apart from you know losing a lot of hair the excess skin the puking after having the surgery is the fact that your gallbladder if you don't take specific medication for it your gallbladder can destroy itself basically um so i had stones in my gallbladder because my gallbladder just went into shock when your body loses so much weight as you do as a weight loss patient your body goes into shock and that's what my gallbladder did it was just like oh, whoa what the hell is going on i was losing like 60 pounds in like three months and <laughs> my body was just like girl what happened so unfortunately i did have to have my gallbladder removed so keep that in mind if you are um considering weight loss surgery you know really talk with your primary or with your surgeon about ways that you can prevent having to have a second surgery a couple months later to avoid getting your gallbladder removed so i'm going to go right into before and after weigh-ins um so prior to having a weight loss surgery my highest weight was 270 pounds and my current weight is 148.6 i weighed myself this morning and i have been in the range of 145 and 150 my body just sort of you know balances those weights out and i've been around there for the last five to six months after you know losing so much weight your body is going to maintain itself in a way where you're gonna feel okay i don't know <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what else to talk about. So I guess I'll just talk about do I regret having the surgery or do I have any personal opinions on having weight loss surgery? Um, do I regret it? Hell no. This was the biggest and greatest decision that I've ever made in my entire life. Not only for my self-esteem, but for my health, my physical health, and just my overall happiness and health 
because like I have mentioned, or I don't know if I have, my mother developed stage two breast cancer a couple of years back and that's why I got so depressed and I gained so much weight. So one of the number one factors of cancer is obesity. So you really have to take care of your health and stuff like that. And I wasn't really taking care of my health back then. That is why I'm just so happy that I made this decision in my life. Not to look pretty or sexy or have the best body, but it's so I know that I'm taking care of myself, not only physically, but mentally. If it's either that you have personally lived with cancer or one of your family members have lived with cancer, it's one of the worst things that can happen to anybody or any family. So, uh, Blessings upon blessings that cancer is destroyed and that they find a cure ASAP. So what has my life been after having weight loss surgery? Well, hmm, um, I'm gonna talk to you as if you were my best friend. So, <laughs> when I used to be a chubby girl, let's say I wasn't very out there. I used to always be the funny girl in high school. I used to make a lot of jokes and whatnot. I was always very happy, but I was never like, I never caught the attention of a lot of males. Um, but after having weight loss surgery and your body changes and you have that glow up after high school You're gonna get a lot of attention not even after high school Just whether you have weight loss surgery and your body changes dramatically and males notice you the ones that didn't notice you before um, You're gonna love all of that attention But all of that attention is gonna come from those mean bullies that used to talk so much crap about you and so much crap about your body and now they're dragging themselves at your feet begging you to go out with them you know who you are and you're just gonna swerve them because they are not worth your time Bish. if you did not love me how I was before you do not deserve me at my best okay so in regards to arms this is how my arms look right now um, there is excess skin, not to mention that I haven't been to the gym in a while. I'm going to be completely honest, I haven't been to the gym in about a couple of months. So I do still have muscle, um, I'm glad that hasn't gone away, but there is still a lot of excess skin, which does not bother me whatsoever. Would I ever consider um, excess skin removal? Now I know that a lot of people, especially where you were starting out regarding your weight loss journey, it depends on how heavy and big you were in the beginning that's going to affect how much skin you're going to have at the end, especially if you know it depends on whether you work out or you use specific lotions to tighten your skin. It all depends on what you're going to do for yourself. Everybody is different. So would I ever consider excess skin removal? I don't think so. I don't even think it's necessary for me. This little bit of skin is not going to harm me. It's not going to change the fact that I am completely satisfied with how I look at the moment. So no, no excess skin removal for me. I guess I'll do body shots. Like this is something that I used to do a lot as I went through my journey. So I'll do body shots. So guys, with that being said, I have actually no idea how long this video is going to be. Don't judge me if this video doesn't turn out as good as my other videos have. I've been gone from YouTube for a while, but I don't think it's going to turn out too shabby. And hopefully my editing skills, you know, work out some things that maybe I stuttered over or whatnot. So guys, remember, I really want to do a Q&A, especially since I have a bunch of new subscribers. I want to get to know you and I want you to get to know me. So ask me any questions that your heart desires. And you guys, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.